Hello gems, welcome to your bonus read. So we're going to see what's going on with you and your person that is coming out. So if this does resonate for you, go ahead and thumbs up this video. And if it doesn't resonate, I'll have your playlist linked below in the description box, you guys. And also, guys, I want to announce something that I decided to do today. I'm going to do a 12-minute read-in for $50. So that is going to be the special up until today, until the 30th of this month. So if you are interested for a 12-minute read-in for $50, go ahead and hit me up on the scene, Tarot at G gmail.com the channel name at gmail.com okay all right so let's get entwined with your energy and see what we have for you for gemini's bonus highest step line what's going on for gemini's bonus Ooh. all right so we have something here Ooh, we have the death and we have the six of swords so a lot of you are definitely trying to, it's like this change is needed. This is what I'm hearing. This change is needed. Um, and you understand this change. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio energy, but this needed to end within the death. I feel like you are going to have to heal through this. A lot of you, again, you know, I'm just getting this energy that you're moving away. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles together. Knight of Wands. It's like you're really determined and you're feeling happy that you made this change. Like you're feeling happy and excited about this. This is what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands. And you're going to be doing really well for yourself on your own. This is what I'm feeling. You're going towards, you know, fulfillment. You're going towards building an empire, a legacy, leaving something behind for your family. I'm also seeing you invest in other things. I'm seeing you putting your time in other things that really just benefit you and your growth as a person, okay? But this is excited. Like, you're just excited. You're, you know, you have this fire, this flame that have been missing for such a long time time within you gems okay a lot of you could be surrounded by a scorpio like i said or an aries leo or sag energy i'm saying like this person was a receiver like someone took a lot and didn't give a lot back to you i'm hearing that you need to be careful with that energy okay the three of pentacles for some of you are leaving a job or some kind of um some kind of collaboration that wasn't right for you. So this could be people that you have met through networking that wasn't right for you. Um, and it just went south. You know, that collaboration didn't fit you. And I feel like, you know, you had to leave because you were losing yourself in this moment, in this time. A lot of you were losing a lot of money as well. But I feel like this was a cold energy here. Like somebody like shut you out and didn't tell you what really happened behind the scenes with that opportunity. And I feel like you're going to be taking yourself out of that loss. You're going to be fixing yourself. As you're losing, you're gaining. This is what I'm seeing here. This person, Gemini Aquarius and Libra energy you know I'm just picking up the energies here you're I'm seeing like a block or a cut off like you're cutting this person off yeah you're very serious you guys are vibrating different energies anyway it's a huge conflict here I feel like you're definitely disappointed in this person like you're not trying to be emotionally connected to this person any longer or trying to understand where this person is coming from emotionally. You feel like this person hurt you. Disappointed you. I'm seeing steal from you. Someone was stealing from you. And now I'm feeling like this person energy is overwhelmed with the truth. And they're coming towards you to tell you something. Because they've been unfair. They have been lying to you. This is what I'm seeing here. You don't trust them as far as you can throw them anyways. 
it is what it is. Feelings are mutual. They're doing things to you and you just like you you have all eyes open right now. It's like you just you you just you're not even entwined with this. You're just like trying to like tie up loose ends and not deal with this situation here. I'm seeing like you are very much, you know, um, in this energy of like, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to run away from this situation, but I'm just acting like, you know, nothing bothers me right now and I'm going to deal with it when it comes. That's what I feel. But your angels are also watching the situation within the justice. It's like they're saying you might have to walk away with that loss, honestly. Even if you go to court with this person, I don't see it ending well because there's some kind of proof that you need that is missing from this whole situation. And then I'm seeing the Four of Swords here in reverse. I feel like you're going to be at a place where you're going to be open. I feel like this energy really like tired you out and really made you feel exhausted. But now you're going to be at a place where you're just going to be like, I'm ready. I'm ready to deal with this in the Four of Swords in reverse. On the back of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of money is being lost here. A lot of opportunity. A lot of growth. Ten of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles to like this loss. You like this person took something from you. Be careful of this energy that's coming up. Scorpio's energy, even Aries, Leo, or Sag. You know who this person is. Is appearing to be a fire sign, like someone very passionate, someone that knows what they're doing. I feel like they're coming towards you to, for with an opportunity that is leading to south, leading south. And you're just like being warned of this opportunity, being warned like, yeah, you have the money invested in yourself, of course, and not situations that you're going to have to wait for the results, you know, put this in a saving account. This is what I'm hearing, this abundance that you're getting, you know, and I feel like this is something like a business you're trying to sell and it's going south. Like you're trying to sell something, something that was probably your inheritance, some a house or something that was given to you that has a lot of value. Hmm. Need to be careful with this energy. Let me see what we have here. Can you tell me about this. For Gemini bonus. Some cards are coming through. you're being warned like there's red flags everywhere there's like three people involved with this yeah three people are involved with this and you need to definitely heal from the situation i feel like you're going to be devastated if you're not following the, the red flags here It's like, I feel like they're, you're trying to build something and it's time to spread your wings. You feel like you want to invest in something huge. But I feel like what the angels want you to do is invest in, is take this experience on your own because they feel like you have everything under your belt to actually lead you to success. You need to believe in yourself and don't expect anyone to bring you to success if that makes sense. Hmm. Where's my energy deck? I just want to get into the energy. Tell me more for Gemini. Bonus. I'm seeing there is fear here, like you have been worrying anyways. This is something to pay attention to. This is what I'm hearing. Look at this deceit. There's deceit here in this situation. Someone who has been planning this for a while to get you to do this. And they've been smiling in your face. This is a friend. This is a friend of the family. 
This is someone that you trust, really trust. You call them like, you know, like family, basically. But I feel like you're going to have the abundance. You're going to be fine in the long run. Yeah, but you're, you want to grow. You want to get out and explore and see what's out there for you. And it's okay. They're saying do it, but do it on your own. It's your experience, not anyone else. They have you. They're protecting you, you know, spiritually. You have every upload that you need to to succeed in the rest card. I'm seeing that you're strong enough to do this. You're strong enough to conquer this. Within Leo, the angel of strength is with you. You don't need anyone to do or finish anything for you. If you continue to do this, this is going to be a storm that is coming towards you. I mean, you do have um, transitions happening regardless, but I feel like with the strength card, you're going to be strong enough to conquer a lot of things. Can I have one more? If you have to think about it for a period of time, don't do it. Your spirit is trying to talk to you. It's like you're getting all the information you need and you're sitting there and you're wondering, like, could you give me some time to think about this? And if you have to, like, think about something that you truly want to do for a period of time, that means, you know, your intuition is trying to speak to you in that moment. So listen to it. This is what I have for you when it comes to your bonus. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. I just want to point out, like, Leo came out twice here within the Angel of Strength in the Strength card as well. We have Libra energy, Scorpio energy that is also showing up here as well. So keep that in mind, you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next week. Bye, guys.